How did they pick up steam in that third quarter? Well, they came out ultra aggressive. They had momentum up in the, in the second, 20 to the half. They came out as the aggressor, attacking the paint. Obviously, we struggled to score. That showed probably the second half of the third quarter. And we let that ball stick too much. One pass, no pass, possessions. It's a tough way to play against a quality defensive team. Wes, I know the, the idea with Porzingis was just kind of to see what you guys have to see where he's at. Um, but how much do you miss a scoring presence like him after you've had, you know, 20 point nine plus for him? Uh, I mean, it's just tough. I mean, you know, it's, it's been a handful of games, so he's still trying to work his way through it. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's going to have some big nights and he's going to struggle at times just like everybody else. Uh, but he'll find that level of consistency. At some point, it will get down. He's too good of a player. So I think it's just a small hiccup, but I think he'll bounce back. How do you evaluate him tonight going up against LeBron? Sorry. It's, it's a tough matchup for him. Uh, obviously, he wasn't his primary. He was the primary defender. Uh, but if he has a big night like that, he, everyone has to own him. It's not just on his matchup. But, you know, Ron like that guy, like with his skill set, really play make pass at center. It's, it's tough for him to. What was the, I guess, thought between just starting him out against him? He's putting his eyes in front of his face. When he well, he was on Johnson. Yeah. That was his matchup. You know, but, um, oh, I'm sorry. Just starting at center over. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, it's just, you can't control you know, who they're going to play. It's mm-hmm. just, you know, we got to find the best matchup for our guys. You know, that's, it's tough some nights, but, I think we did a decent job you know, for the most part handling some of the situations. LeBron made some tough shots, made some deep threes, three for four in the first half. So now he's shooting into a big basket. He's a tough out. You send multiple bodies at him, he's going to make the right play. Um, and he can go downhill at any time he wants. So uh, we've seen that before. I've seen it before. Once he gets going, it's really, really tough to you know, shut him down. Is there anything that uh, in retrospect you guys could have done to try to? Arrest that 12 point consecutive stretch that he had. Well, I mean, the deep three, I mean, that's, that's hard to guard. Uh, but obviously, the transition, uh, take those easy ones away. You know, I think that's that's controlled. You know, on the other end, we have to be more efficient on the offense. So now, when that ball goes in, we have a chance to set our defense. You know, if we're always on our heels, we, you know, it's this group here in for a tough night. Do you feel like your guys? Uh, handled the disappointments of what they felt like were missed calls or bad calls. Well, or did that contribute to? I, don't, I mean, maybe to a small degree, but we've had frustrating nights like that before. Um, I thought we were able to recenter ourselves and get away from that, but I thought we got a little out of character uh, collectively. You know, in offensive, we stopped moving the ball, stopped sharing it, stopped playing the second and third side a bit, and that that allows a good defensive team to kind of lock in. So. I thought that, that was a big problem for us in the second half. What's this kind of time doing those and you guys obviously are still shooting for the plan and everything. I guess, how do you keep you guys focused from slipping from saying, you might not have any, make enough time, you know, all that kind of stuff? Um, I mean, it is what it is, but, you know, we just have to find a way to worry about what's in front of us. You know, I mean, we can't worry about, you know, things you can't control. So uh, the focus didn't do a good job tonight, you know, Mainly in the second half, but a um, chance to get them off. Uh, we can't dwell on it too long, let it you know, affect tomorrow. Because, so, uh, you know, each game at this point, we have to find ways to, to continue to get better. How did you feel that Kyle and KCP handled their return? Uh, you know, it's a tough one. You know, I think it's very difficult to put myself in their situation, but I understand that you know, it's, it's a challenge. They're going to come out trying to give their best effort. I thought they did that. We have to do a better job collectively, especially on the offensive end. But uh, I think they handled that you know, that whole thing pretty well. Chase. Hey Wes, um, was there something that they did to limit Rui in the second half after the strong start that he had? 
Uh, nothing schematically that I could tell. I mean, they just got a little bit more aggressive on both ends. We talked about that the first time out. They were the more aggressive team. Pushed us off our spots, you know, got into us. Uh, offensively, they played downhill. And what did you see from uh, Corey Kispert tonight? He had a career high five threes. Well, he shot the ball well. I mean, he was very uh, you know, decisive, got open looks, shot ready, stepped into it. Um, you know, he's a great shooter, and shooting with confidence. It's a good sign. So hopefully it continues. Zach? Hey, Coach, uh, I was just wondering what you thought of Rui's night defensively tonight. Uh, overall, solid. Uh, you know, LeBron is a tough out. He saw multiple multiple looks. Rui had his chance. Kyle, obviously, we did a lot of switching with our, our larger guys. Uh, just to try to keep him in front. He made some tough shots, you know, tough turnarounds in, in the post, pull-up jump shots. Most nights you're willing to say, okay, you know, we can live with that as long as it's not at the rim. Um, but when they go in, it's, you know, it's deflating. It's tough. It's tough to take everything away from a, you know, exceptionally talented player like that. Last question, Neil. Hey, Coach, not necessarily just tonight, but it seems like opponents in general are kind of hunting Howell a little bit. Um, when you guys are on defense, you've talked about size on the ball previously. Are you close to considering a potential starting change? Uh, not this time, no. Uh, you know, there's other things we tried to show, try to minimize, uh, you know, that exposure. But, uh, you know, late in the game, they're going to search it out. And I think at times, Howell's done a really good job of fighting those guys. They try to walk them down, fronts, and it gives a terrific effort. Uh, you know, and there's, there's got to be help behind him. So it's just not on him. Uh, but you know, I think he also gives us, you know, an opportunity to stay organized offensively. Well, what's the scoring night that you've had the past two games? You had 14 rebounds. Do you view tonight kind of as a step forward, either in your level of comfort or your play or anything like that? Uh, I would just say another day of, you know, day of, day of, another day of, uh, of season, you know, because there's ups and downs always. You know, you have great games, then you have not so good ones, but, um, I think the bigger problem is we we, uh, we, all, we allow them too many easy ones, too many back cuts, too many kind of played in their game. They're, they're a little bit, at least in the beginning, I felt like they're a little chaotic the way they switch and they don't switch and they don't, they feel like they don't know what they're doing on defense. So we kind of played it to their game and start kind of playing the same way a little bit. So um, I think we, we should have stayed more, um, more uh, disciplined with, with what, what we had to do and um, and then once you get a play from a front, exceptional play, um, it's hard to stop those. Even at his age, he's still you know, capable of doing incredible things like that. So uh, once he got going, it was really hard for us to stop anything that he was doing. Uh, but yeah, I think I think um, we got a little bit lazy with our with our you know execution, uh, and it's on us on, on the players. Coaches are giving us the answers. We just got to execute it better. We have the weak side help us to be in uh, detail that we have to, you know, we have to clean up and start it myself. So uh, there's, there's definitely work for us to do going forward. I've seen the good time with Indiana, the game at home, and everything like that. What do you think you, once you get acclimated, you could lead to this franchise? Honestly, I, I always believe in myself and, and I believe. Uh, and my skill set and what I'm capable of, you know. Um, my main thing is, is, is staying healthy, um, having my body right. And if my body's right, then, you know, my game feels almost, it just happens. I don't have to fall, I don't have to force anything. I don't, I don't have to do anything extra. And I'm capable of, you know, doing many things out there on um, both ends. So, you know, I focus on that. I focus on daily work. And at the end, I can sleep at night with the result, you know, because I, I, I that, that work that I put in gives me the confidence, and good or bad, I'm okay with it, you know, because I knew I, I did all the things prior to, to the results. So, um, that's how I try to have a clear mind and then, you know, bad night tonight, what's the next one? Did you try to get them to let you play tomorrow? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> of course, but uh, I have to, I have to, you know, I have to be, be smart and, and listen to people that are, 
uh, looking out for, for, for my, our best interest always for, for the state officer. And yeah, they, they have this. Uh, but where did you take the team's ball movement in the, in the second half? Because that was a, that's been such a strength of the entire team the last couple of weeks. Um, sometimes it's like a chain reaction. You know, we get we get a little bit lazy on the defensive end, and then we try to fix it quick. Like you know, first one to touch the ball is, is trying to make it, you know, score. And a couple of times you can get get by doing that, but. But what we should have done is, is make them work on defensive end also. And get them tired. And kind of a lot of times um, bail them out by, by taking quick shots or, or just forcing things that we need to force really. Um, and then, you know, they, they made us pay for that experienced team. Um, so I, think, I think we got to go back to playing uh, playing with like a clear, you know, clear spirit. And just, you know, making that extra pass for the teammate, you know, making the uh, next play. The right play, and then and then the result. So you guys always want to win every game, all eighty-two. But how much more did you guys try to or hope to push it over the top four, Kuzma and Caldwell Pope? Push it over the top. I to win to win tonight to try to give them a uh, winning game that was so important. Yeah, that was their first home uh, game back, correct? Yeah. Yeah, so of course it's you know for those guys important, um, and it's always fun to play in the big arena, the Staples Center, the MSG. You know, it's always a bigger stage and it's more fun, and um, the crowd was into it. And, and so it's it's things you know it's things we should have should have got this one definitely after the first half. I think we also um, kind of got this a little bit of like the goal of confidence that oh, we're going to take care of business. You know, we were up seven. Felt like the momentum was on our side and uh, come out in the second half and it didn't go our way the way we planned. So another learning lesson for us. Neil. Hey KP. Um just these three games that you've been back, you had a couple more minutes today than the first couple. Just how do you feel physically so far? Uh good. Good, good, good. I want to play more. Um, but I have to build my way up. You know, I felt I was, I was a bit slow on my feet today uh, uh, on a defensive end. And that's, you know, that's something I, I, I can't, can't allow to happen. You know, I want to be, I want to spring in my feet and, and be able to get on time everywhere where I need to be. So, um, and of course, you know, I want to play and, and, and have longer stretches of playing. Uh, sometimes it kind of creeps in your mind and you, uh, you want to force some things out there just because I might be coming out in a couple of minutes, you know. So um, just to have that uh, calmness and, and, and knowing that, you know, uh, uh, I'm going to get there. I just need to stay focused and, and, and play the right way. If they hit the short roll, you know, we're kind of empty, give, giving them some threes and, um, and a lot of back cuts. Uh, just a lot of the little things that we could have controlled that, uh, you know, were very important because, you know, Outside of Brian, you know, they, they struggle to score at half court with the guard as well. So, you know, it's just a lesson. And, uh, you know, we got those guys in nine days maybe. So, you know, just learn from it, watch the film, and, you know, try to get back at it in a couple of days. It's obviously such a tough environment. Like, what kept you guys from kind of matching their level when they raced in the second half? Um, I mean, you know, we just had a lot of mental errors. Um, you know, I think that was the biggest thing. Um, you know, you got a little rowdy in there, and you know, you can expect that. You know, obviously, uh, LJ had a big game, and you know, the crowd was feeding off that. You know, we, we can't let that you know, deteriorate us. You know, we got to be able to you know stay calm and, and collected, and uh, you know, just don't get too high. And, you know, we do that tonight. How has KP done in his three games with you? How do you evaluate his play and his fit so far? Um, I mean, he's been good, but at the same time, uh, you know, we just got to keep figuring out the continuity aspect. Uh, you know, if we're going to post him, we have to understand the right spacing, um, you know, because we haven't really posted all year. You know, I just started posting up. KP, obviously, coming here, started posting up. So, um, you know, we just got to figure out the little nuances, you know, the game within the game, uh, especially when he's out there because he's so dynamic. And we we got to give, we got to give him some space to, you know, operate and, uh, you know, continue to put them in uh, you know, best situations.
what did the reception you received mean to you? Um, I mean, I mean, it means I got a legacy here. Um, at the end of the day, um, you know, it's the team that drafted me, spent four years here, Laker Nation, and being that Laker is, you know, forever in my heart. We won a championship here. We did a lot of great things. I established myself, and um, you know, it's just really, really cool. I'm just a kid from Flint, Michigan. At the end of the day, uh, I always think about that. Uh, uh, being from a small town, coming to LA, and uh, you know, just making some noise. You know, that's it's American dream, honestly, for me. So uh, I love to hear. Uh, I'm glad to hear and for the fans to be. So receptive, love you. So, oh, what? Yeah, watched it. Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, you know, it's kind of tough to watch because I'm trying to focus on the game. But um, you know, I watched as much as I could. So. Oh yeah, Brown man, that's my brother. Um, you know, I wish we we would have got uh, you know more one on ones. Uh, you know, he's gone for switches a lot, but uh, nah, man, I, I've learned so much from him. Uh, he's really a big brother and mentor to me. And, um, you know, I, I don't know how I, I got I got stuck with him as a mentor. Uh, it's just crazy. Like I said, being from Flint, small town, not supposed to be in the NBA. You know, good friends with Ron, he's a mentor. Anytime I need a resource, he's here. So, it's an amazing feeling, honestly. Say it again. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Here and there, for sure. Neil. Hey, Kuz, the few times that you were matched up on Braun, he had the one fadeaway against you. He might have said something. You kind of smiled back. Is that sometimes you just chalk it up to, okay, well, that's his greatness? Uh, I mean, that was a tough ass shot. And uh, I mean, he only winked at me because I hit the step back three and winked at him. So he just was like a right back at you. But uh, he's a great player. You know, I, I knew that shot was coming. And, you know, he's the type of player, one of the greatest of all time. So um, good D better O. But uh, I mean, that's what he does. He has tough shots, fadeaways. That's, that's what he does. 